They say never say never. I say never tell me what to do. A person will never put you in a position above them. That's never a lie. Always true. Success never comes without risk and risk never comes without fear. YouTube is a smoking mirror. Never how it appears. Hey, yo, before I even get started on this low board video, if you check the description, you will be able to get 20 days free on the dat low board with my link. And I, everybody that signed up with my link, all they got to do is email me with any questions or anything that they got. And I help them navigate the low board, get them started, find them lows, the whole nine. So like I say, check the description, sign up with my link, email me. I got you. All right, we ain't gonna waste a lot of time, man, for people new to the channel, coming back to the channel, that's what's up. We gonna book us a load this morning, man. We gonna get up out of here. First thing I like to do is make sure that I got my truck posted. Do I got my truck posted? Yeah, I do. But I gotta edit this because I just wanna update it. It would just go like that. Hold on. Yeah, so the time says zero minutes. All right, cool. Then we're going to go back to dashboard and we're going to look at the reefer count for Illinois. That's where I'm at. So they saying that 1363 lows coming in, 1835 going out. Looks like I'm going to work today, folks. Yeah. Let's go on over to this search, see what they got going on. Got my parameters set up. I only want to look back in the hour. I don't want to look back 24 hours. It's been a long time since I did one of these videos where we called the broker and did all that good stuff. So make sure you check out my other videos about booking a load. Going to only for 18. You know what? Since I'm doing a video, I'm going to call SRAM Logistics. I really can't stand them, but I'm just going to show you all the BS that be going on in trucking. They, it probably ain't even picking up and delivering there. We ought to we ought to check their reviews real quick. Soon I get them on the main line. You have reached Shram Logistics Solutions. If you know your party's extension, you can dial it now. For general extension. dispatch, press one. Due to the high volume of calls, for a quicker response, high volume of email calls. loads. Email loads, y'all lying. Y'all full of it. They reviews don't look too bad though. Fifty three five eighty four one stars. Wow. Don't plan on booking a low with them. Hmm. Rate reduction with no reason. Hmm. Unprofessional. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that. They don't want to answer the phone. So, such is life. Anyway, had they answered the phone, I would have told them about the load. I would have used this reference Shram number. Logistics, this is dispatch. How can I help? Hey, I was calling about a load you got posted on the load board, or a Rockford, Illinois, going to Sturdivant, Wisconsin, reefer load for today. Do you need a reference number? Yes, please. Nine two five nine five one zero. Nine two five nine five one zero. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, okay. So, so unfortunately, it does look like that load is unavailable. Um, is your truck in the Rockford right now? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. So it looks like I do have one load. It's just it's coming out of uh, Geneva, Illinois. Would you be interested in something like that? It, it depends on where it was going to. Where is uh, it? It's going to Sturtevant, Wisconsin. It's going to Sturtevant, Wisconsin. What kind of rate do you got on it? Yeah. It's about uh, 1250. Oh, it's 1250. Yeah, it's too much of a dead head for me on that one. Okay, appreciate you. Mm -hmm. All no right, have a good one.
Yeah, well, see how that went. That didn't go too well. I was looking at something else on here. Shram, they always really posting lows they don't have. I don't know. I just call just to be calling. This Integrity Express, I used to run these lows quite a bit. Well, not for Integrity for a different broker, but Integrity came in and they dropped a rate on them. I'm not sure. This is a first come first serve facility. So seeing that I ain't got the low, if I had the low yesterday and I could have got up and went over there this morning and got loaded, it probably would have been cool, but I wouldn't have been at 1700 on it. I probably would do it for 1900. We might let that stew for a little bit and call them if they still got it. I seen it was another one on here. I was looking at, oh, here, right here, right here. We're going to call on this one. This Rochelle to Kenosha. He had 1300 on it. That's, I don't know. We get some details. That's, that's a fair rate. Uh, I can't complain on that. 317-635-6207. Depending on what time it pick up and drop off and all that. Thank you for calling Spot, where we provide our customers with a smarter way to ship. Please note, Man. your call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. His name, Mac. He, he had these lows quite a... Oh, it pick up at 10 a.m. I ain't see that before I call. Oops. Oh, this hey, I was calling on the loads you got posted on the load board. Yes, sir. A Rochelle, Illinois to Kenosha, Wisconsin reefer load for today. Yeah, picking up at 10 a.m. out of Rochelle, going to Kenosha for delivery at 12, or at uh, 10 p.m. tonight. It's going to be 37,000 pounds of palletized packaged meat. Can I grab your MC, man? You got a lumper on the delivery? Uh, let's see here. Uh, that I do not know at this point. Oh you, oh, you don't know if it's a lumper on it? Okay, and you're at 1,300 no. on it? Yes, sir. Okay, and it picks up at 10 a.m. Let me call and see if this driver's empty, and I'll give you a shout right back. All right, I'm in. Thank you. All right, thanks, Liz. I wouldn't make 10 a.m. because Rochelle, it's a it's a 32. By the time I get to the truck and do all that, I wouldn't make no 10 a.m. pickup. So we ain't going to be able to run that low. See what else they... And let's refresh this. Man, that. Hey, y'all need an auto refresh on here. And I ain't even gonna charge y'all for that. Mm. I don't really see nothing good on here. So I guess I'm gonna go get an oil change on my car this morning. I don't wanna go to Indiana. Uh, yeah, a lot of these places I don't wanna go to. So let's look outside my little search parameters and see what else they got going on. The Delaware 3000, that's for tomorrow. Yeah, I don't. Rochelle to Lincoln, Illinois. I do a lot of loads for Ease Logistics. They got 1350, so I might two extra picks in Rochelle. Nah, we ain't going to do that one, not for no 1350. Lincoln ain't that bad, but. I ain't doing that for no 13. I might email the guy that I mess with and see what's going on with that low. Lincoln, Illinois, that's not that bad. Oh, that's for tomorrow anyway. So they're not going to go up on the money until tomorrow. But I might email him just to see because he's pretty cool. He might, if he give it to me for like, what, it, what they want on the 13? Man, I lost a low that fast? Man, I don't really be messing with this on the computer like this. I'm not too good on here. 1350, so... I'd ask him for sixteen hundred on that. I'm, I'm sure he'd probably give it to me. So, actually, I asked him for sixteen fifty just to see what he say. Yeah, I ain't really, I ain't really interested in all these other lows. Like, I be watching other people low board videos, and they be trying to say like, well, they just be hopping around different states looking at the the city where it's picking up, where it's delivering to. They like, oh, that's a good load, and they look at the price. How you know that's a good load if you ain't called and found out what time it pick up, 
what time it deliver, how much it actually weigh, and it's a lane that you don't really run. See, when I come on this low board, these, these, this is the lane that I run. I'm very familiar with this lane. So I already know what's a good price, what's a bad price. I already know how much fuel it's gonna cost me to run it. I already know the traffic situation. That's why like, I stay inside my lane. Like I don't be talking about other lanes. I don't talk about flatbed because I don't pull a flatbed. I'm not pulling dry van right now, although I do sometimes, so I'm pretty, reefer and dry van rates are pretty close together actually. So all you gotta do is really go down a little bit because it's a dry van, but other stuff like that, if I don't pull it, I don't really talk about it. Like I don't run from Chicago to Florida like like I used to. So I don't know what that rate should be. So I won't get on the low board and make a video. I'm sorry. I won't get on YouTube and make a video talking about the lane going down to Florida from Chicago because I, I don't have no experience in that lane. It's been, I don't know how many years since I ran down there. Who knows what's happening? All right, well, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Wish it would have been longer. Wish I could have found the low, but it didn't work out this morning. It's only 8.30 in the morning. So as, I, as I'm as i out and about, I'll be checking on my phone to see if I can get a load or whatever. And we'll just go from there, man. This your boy, Icewater815. I got some other load board videos that you probably should check out where I call more brokers and got a little bit more in depth. But I'm gonna say this before I get up out of here. When you call a broker and you checking on a load, you got to talk with confidence and act like you know what you're talking about. And it's a couple things that you got to ask the broker while you got them on the phone. You you definitely and I'm talking about like I ain't trying to be like everybody else. You the pickup time, all that blah, blah, blah. You already know that. But what you need to know is what how long do you got to sit at the shipper and the consignee before you get detention? You need to know that you need to know how much the detention is you need to know if it's a lumper where you at or if you if you're in reefer you probably can ask if it's pallet exchange for the shipper you need to know that and you need to know how are any accessorial charges being paid for you know is somebody going to be there to give you a t-check is somebody going to be there to give you an express code are they going to charge you for the express code if you pay out your pocket, are you going to be reimbursed? See, these are the things that this what separate my channel from everybody else, because I give you the information like er, everybody else. Just I ain't going to say they repeating what I say, but everybody else just saying what they didn't heard said. But no, I'm 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 going to let you know the real deal, man. So, hey, matter of fact. If you comment down below with your phone number, I'm going to call you, put your phone number in the comments down below. I'm going to personally call everybody that put their phone number in the comments down below and at least get them five minutes on the phone. They could ask me anything. All right, man. This your boy Icewater 815, man. Remember, it don't matter what type of truck you drive as long as it'll deliver a load. But you ain't going to make no money in trucking if you can't keep that left door closed. Hey, I'll see you next video, YouTube. Y'all be safe. Been through a lot of pain in my life and I pray the Lord take it all away.